How's it going? My name's Kurt, and today I wanted to show you a little project I'm working on. Uh, it's a time lapse dolly. Now, I was hoping to get uh, some better footage for you guys. Me and some friends were planning on going camping to get some night sky photography or some Milky Way time lapses. But uh, both times we tried, it fell through. The first time it fell through, and the second time there was rain forecasted, so it didn't happen. But uh, this is what I can show you. So the basis of a time lapse dolly is move, shoot, move. Uh, so the camera moves along some sort of linear rail, then takes a photo, then waits, and then repeats that process. So this is my implementation of that, where, the, where the, my focus has been on easy to replicate and also easy to customize. So the biggest part of making it easy to replicate is uh, using easy source parts. So the, the basis of that is the main rail is just a piece of interior, p interior, interior timber, which you know it's, it's um, well and truly smooth enough for this purpose and also extremely easy to find. The rest of the parts are easy to find and the, um, the other me mechanical parts of the rail are 3D printed which means y you don't even have to be good with your hands and able to replicate this, you just need access to a 3D printer. And in order to make it um, easily customizable, all the models for these 3D printed parts are parametric. So if you don't want to use this, this piece of timber, this particular piece, or you want to use different bearings, you just throw in different dimensions and it should pump out those models for you. So this is a model. Uh, you might notice that it's slightly different to what you saw in the video. Uh, the one in the video, uh, early iteration, each one of these was separate, like it attached to the piece of timber separately. I've just combined these into one sort of part that I'll attach. So this is modeled in OpenSCAD and everything's parametric. So if you wanted to change, like say you, you wanted the carriage to be shorter, you can, you can do that or um, I can bring this clearance here down or if you were using an entirely different piece of timber something or, or a piece of a piece of aluminium or steel um, that's a lot thicker uh, you can just punch those in it should pump out the model for you it renders to this so yeah so in terms of the electronics, there's really only three major components. So here we have a microcontroller. I'm using a Arduino Nano. There's also a stepper motor driver here. This is the uh, A4988. If you've built yourself a RepRap 3D printer, then you're probably familiar with this driver. And there's also down, down here a little MOSFET, and that's what um, actually triggers the camera to fire. And that's really it. So in terms of the firmware, um, I use two open source libraries. One is a stepper motor library, the other one was a task scheduler that I use for timing. And in terms of the code I actually wrote myself, uh, I just built a simple state machine which steps through the time lapses actions. Um, but it's very bare bones at this point. Uh, you know, you can't change any settings once it's uploaded to the Arduino, that sort of thing. Which uh, actually brings me to my next point. So uh, I mentioned in the last video that I uploaded a couple of weeks ago that I'm not going to pressure myself so much to do full tutorials, instead I'm going to do some more of these kind of update videos. Um, however, when I was making the full tutorial videos, I always was a little uncomfortable that so someone could get the impression that I was uploading these tutorials in a manner of, this is how it's done. I like to think I always gave the impression of, this is how I did it, and you can do it, as, you can do it this way as well if you'd like. Um, but with those kind of feelings, I don't know why I never thought about it or never decided to do it, is what I should be doing is collabor collaborating with you guys because I'm almost certain a bunch of you have far more expertise in, in a few areas that I don't have any expertise in. So yeah, that's something I, I'd like to do generally is, is collaborate. So in regards to this, um, yeah, the firmware is something that definitely, uh, t uh, could definitely do with work. and. Um, in particular, see, I bought this this little um, USB host shield a little while ago, and the guy who made it, his name's Oleg. I'll, I'll leave a link or something. Um, not only did he design the the shield, he also has collaborated with a bunch of people and, and made very extensive libraries for what that shield can control. Um, and some of that is very extensive controls for a bunch of different cameras. So I thought that is something that could really pair well with this project. So far, I've managed to make the libraries the library and the Arduino trigger the camera to take a photo but not much beyond that. An idea I had actually would be um, some sort of bulb ramping or exposure ramping. See if you if you want to take a time lapse of the sun rising or setting then you need the exposure to be able to change because of the magnitude differences in lighting. 
but if you just leave your camera on auto exposed, you end up with a really flickery uh, time lapse because of inconsistencies. So with an exposure ramping, you allow the exposure to change, um, but only by small amounts. So you end up with a smooth time lapse, but always properly exposed. Um, but anyway, so I, I look at these libraries and they're written in C++ and I only ever learned C and I'm, I kind of scratched my head a little bit, so uh, there's not too many comments there. So I got no idea. So I kind of figured maybe that's, maybe that's a, a starting point um, for some, maybe some firmware collaboration. However, um, I, I would like to do collaboration more more generally anyway. Um, but yeah, so maybe maybe there's other parts of this particular build you would want to work on. Um, like, for example, the, the rail system, maybe you think the way I printed it is, is poor. I'd be more than happy to um, hand over the files for that as well. So yeah, collaboration, it's, it's, it's something I want to do. And um, yeah, that's that's the time lapse dolly so far. I, I think it's I think it's pretty cool. I, I like the idea that um, once you once you acquire all the parts and you and you print the the parts that need to be printed or you get someone to print them for you, it's more or less just an a, an assembly. Like there's there's not not too much skill involved, which means it's really accessible. You know, I, I, I like I, I like to think of the idea of anyone being able to have a go. So yeah, that's it. Um, please do comment though. Um, I haven't thought about how, if, if we were to collaborate, exactly what medium we'd use. I guess since there's some code involved, we might use GitHub, but um, we'll sort of that out if, if, if some people are interested. So um, yeah, um, let me know.